All right, thanks, Tony. Well, we're getting a closer look tonight at the Firefighters Memorial in West Warwick that was vandalized over the weekend. We first told you about this last night. Now we're hearing from firefighters who are angry over the situation. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald joins us now with the new details. It's a special place for West Warwick firefighters and family members to remember those who have died. Now they're looking for answers to what happened. This bench was sitting uh, over here that got dragged over. Stone benches toppled and plaques turned. This facing this way, this got overturned. This was some of the vandalism that West Warwick firefighters discovered at their memorial Saturday morning. Uh, obviously, we were out on a call because we would have heard what happened with the, with the damage that was done. Lieutenant Jim Rita is the chairman of the West Warwick Firefighters Memorial. It obviously, it means everything to us. Uh, this is a way to honor our deceased members. Uh, one of our uh, chiefs who actually has passed um, before the completion of the memorial, it was his uh, vision or dream to have something to honor all our deceased brothers and, and sisters. Lieutenant Rita says firefighters fundraised and built most of the memorial themselves. His biggest question today is why. Very hurt, I mean angry, uh, just didn't know why it happened. We're hoping it was um, either you know, an accident and hopefully it wasn't malicious. If it was malicious, then I, I don't know why they would want to do something to something you know, so sacred to us. There were tire tracks left at the scene and the West Warwick police are investigating. The fire station has surveillance cameras, but they were not working at the time. We just want somebody to come forward and say, okay, I did this and whatever reason why and just you know, make good on it. That's all we're asking for. We just want the park to uh, be where it was before. They're still assessing the cost of the damage and hoping to do many of the repairs themselves, but may have to fundraise. If you have any information, you're asked to call West Warwick Police. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.